Okay, it is Thursday. <laughs> it is Thursday. It is treatment day. Ta-da. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, after I did that, I went to um, the chiropractor. And then I had a Walmart grocery pickup order. I told Carol Beth, I said, I guess Thursday is now going to be my weekly shopping day. Uh, if one week I can go to Aldi's and maybe try to tough it out and do it. Or, like today, I just did a Walmart pickup order. Thank you, Carol Beth. Hi. Can you say hi? Hi. They've been missing you. Mm. Yeah. 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 So there she is. Mm. <laughs> she just let puppies in. Again. Again. But um, I, from now, I guess Thursday's gonna be my new grocery day, um, because I can either run to Aldi's right after my treatment, or do a Walmart pickup order, because it's just like right around the corner. When I get done with the chiropractor, I can just scoop down that way or whatever. Anywho, yeah, that's gonna be the new norm, I guess. Um. I know for a fact, I, I saw that I couldn't tough it out in Sam's, did a baby girl. No. Girl Beth had to finish pushing me. Yeah. Beth, we had to take the bar off my walker, and she had to push me. And I'm a lot to push around, Dana. <laughs> I was out of breath. She was. She was breathing hard. <laughs> so, um, I'm probably looking at... For sake of convenience, and I, we never had a problem with Aldi and Alabaster produce. Loved it. Still do. Um, if we go to Birmingham, we make a point of stopping at that one. Their um, Isle of Wonders, people call it the Isle of Shame. I call it the Isle of Wonders. Their stuff that's like special week, um, seasonal, odd things. Um, Alabaster always usually has whatever they advertise. Montgomery or Prattville, they never really get it. Mm -mm. No, not happening. So, anywho, let me get into what I did for our Walmart pickup order. Like I said, I started this, like, Tuesday? Maybe Monday evening. Might have been. In order to get your time that you want... You got to do it like, I started it like Monday, like for real. Um, and I went ahead and just put my time 12 to 1 because I, I knew that I had my gamma treatment and I had the chiropractor and then that would give me time to whoop over there and pick it up. I do. Here we go. <laughs> we were talking about buy one, one to use, two to save. I was completely out of spaghetti sauce like not a jar or a can down there and I bought that big can from Sam's but I used every bit of it when I did the lasagnas for when the kids all came so um, I did seven marinara and seven traditional Aldi has gotten to where they do not have the brand they used to that mama cozies or whatever for like the 85 cents or something um, they've almost got, all, all they had was like Prego. And it was a dollar and something. This was 88 cents. So, yes and thank you. So, I got seven marinara, seven traditional. That should stock us up for a while. Um, we had one thing of toilet paper left, so I bought one. It, it, it was, you could only allow to get one. I noticed it was ripped, but it's fine. And then you were only allowed to get one paper towel. Um, and we were completely out. I got one roll down there. So, yes. Yes and thank you. That will be on my list every week. I'll be buying toilet paper and Scott towel, whether we need it or not. Um, Sloppy Joe's is going to be on the menu, not this next week, but the next week. Trying to go ahead and just kind of finish out our month. 
Um, Carol Beth needed deodorant. If y'all have never tried this Armor and Hammer Essentials, it is clear, goes on clear, it does not turn white, and it is a wonderful clean citrus smell, orange citrus. It doesn't have any aluminums or the bad stuff. It smells so good, just a good clean smell. Toot was out of treats, puppies were out of their treats. And it was wonderful. I just went and I scanned the UPC code and boom. Um, our shower curtain liner is funk to the E. So I picked us up another one of those. That's what's great about. I just started making my list. Like I said, come Monday, I knew we needed a new shower liner. I was in there and I was using the bathroom and I'm like, Oof, I'm going to start my list. Um, Carol Beth needed... Y'all, this stuff works. Used to, she constantly would have cavities. Years ago, we started getting my hand shaking. Years ago, we started getting this for the uh, dentist recommended it. He said, you don't have to get like the name brand. Don't worry about act or anything like that. Just anything anti-cavity. Um, she does not like, and I never would give her anything like Listerine or whatnot. Um, she loves the kids' bubblegum flavor. Every once in a while, I'll splurge and get her. I got her a Finding Nemo one, one time, and she was able to use the Nemo cup even after. So, but she needed that. Um, I got some more of the Electrolyte. You just add this to your bottled water. That's one thing I'm missing. There is a thing of bottled water in the back of my van. I'm going to let that man get out. Our National Cup tea bags. I got two boxes. I got a thing of sour cream and onion chips. And behind that is waffle original chips, but the, the waffle, the rippled, the rippled kind. Um, non food items, I guess I should have stayed with that. We needed more Fixident flushable wipes. These have been hard to find. Uh, and these are just pure and gentle wipes. Um, I like to have something in the car. Like if we have something sticky, a honey bun, or somebody spills a drink, or has an accident, or whatever. Need those. Um, these are for me. <laughs> Nath said, uh, I got corn nuggets. We are going to do a fish night one night. And corn nuggets just sound so good. Um, I got my hair color, my normal hair color, not my Sharon Osborne hair color. Um, produce wise, we got the three colored peppers. We're going to do brats. Um, and then I needed the baby bella mushrooms. I was out of my scrubbers, and these are wonderful. And they're only 98 cents, so I went ahead and got two, um, three packs. Um, two onion. I'm going to do squash casserole. Um, I got some potatoes. We're going to do baked potato and steak. Whatever night Brian comes. We're going to do the steaks. We got Sam's and then I got baked potatoes. Two boxes of waffles because we have girls. Um, the beer battered whole cod fillets. Um, me and Carol Beth and Becca love those. Um, Batman likes his, yeah, yeah. Um, we love these pizzas for lunch. So, I got the pepperoni again, and I got the girls' cheese. Um, I figured we could do a cheesecake, whatever night, Brian. He's wanting to come and swim and just hang out and do a movie night. And, um, my creamer this time, I did get sugar-free French vanilla. I'm trying, y'all. Um, one gallon of milk, because we just have opened one. And then two small sour creams. I like getting the small ones, because we're going to open one to use for the potatoes. And then I'm going to need one for my squash casserole. And I'm not quite sure when I'm going to make it. So, um, if I get a big one... And I've, I've ordered it like this before, and they'll go ahead and give me a big one. And I'm like, I don't want a big one. I know 
I ordered the two eight ounce and it wouldn't let me go in there and mark it of do not substitute and blessedly they did not substitute I knew what I was marking <laughs> anywho that that was my Walmart order like I said I got that 24 pack of water in the car um, and that's it for this week um, like I said it's basically stock up stuff pet stuff hygiene stuff so yeah not not much food stuff um like i said every week i'm going to take some of our grocery budget and put toward stocking up of uh, the pantry um this time it was stocking up the spaghetti sauce um yeah that's what we needed that's what we needed so um, I'm going to start putting this stuff away. He told me to put um, ice on my back. So, and it's hot enough. Lord have mercy. Yes, Jesus, please put ice on me. Our heat index is 106. Yes, 106. Devil went to Georgia because it was too hot in Alabama, I'm telling you. <laughs> he had to go north. <laughs> oh, it was too hot for him down here. <laughs> All right, so let me get this stuff put away, and I'll be back. Okay, hey, Hans, it is still Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I just threw my hair up. Um, it is now like 5 o'clock on the dot. Yeah, how'd I do that? I don't know. Um, I am in the process of making supper. Um, and it's going to be super simple tonight. We are having chicken pot pie, pie homemade. Um, I have one pie crust left from those that I got at Aldi's for 79 cents. Um, oh, I'm kicking myself for not buying more. This is what I had left at the rotisserie chicken. You know, that rotisserie chicken we bought at Sam's. And we ate it for supper one night. Monday night. Monday night. And uh, what we had left, I just deboned it and put it in the freezer. Well, then I took it out last night when I took my pie crust out. And uh, here we go. We are doing chicken pie pie. Um, like I said, that is my last um, pie crust. If I would have known that they were going to go back up, I would have bought everyone they had for 79 cents. Whenever you see a super duper deal and you see that it's got like a long shelf life or it's something that you know you can freeze, stock up buttercup. That's, that's where you want, that's how you want to buy your groceries. You don't want to buy technically what you need at that moment you want to buy what is cheapest at that time does that make sense or stock up like this time I stocked up on um, the spaghetti sauce and then I got to looking through when I was getting my stuff together for my chicken pot pie Goofball me, <laughs> I realized I had one can, praise Jesus I had that can, one can of um, mixed vegetables left. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I know mixed vegetables needs to be on my radar. Just saying. All right, this said two cups of chicken, and I am just, uh-oh. 
there. Um, this is my mixed vegetables, my milk, my chicken, my cream of my, uh, my cream of chicken soup. I'm just kind of mixing all of it together, seeing what we're looking like. Trying to decide if I need a little bit more chicken. I mean, I've got plenty. I think I can go a little bit more. I'm just kind of. I know Jordan Page would get on to me. Use your mixer. Yes, and that is the easiest way of doing it. Use your mixer to shred your chicken. All right. So I just have my pie crust. I rolled it out best I could into a rectangle. Yeah. Mm. Um, and I'm just going to kind of pour this off in here. It kind of down the middle. Pouring it down the middle like that. Because we want to spread out as evenly as possible. And I did get some skin in here. And it's no big deal. As long as we ain't got bone, we're all right. And that looks, that looks pretty even. So, I still have this much rotisserie chicken. I am going to freeze. Woohoo! And have another day. Um, I will probably put it in a Ziploc bag to freeze. And it's okay if I freeze it because whenever I had it, yeah, had it frozen, it has not thawed out all the way. Like I said, I put it in the um, refrigerator, and so it was still kind of frozen. So, um, all right, let me roll out this other crust. Put that on top. <laughs> I feel. Yeah. I just. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I just. Yeah. That's, that's the best way I can describe it. Yeah. That's the technical term, too. Um, I got my cheese, and we're doing mozzarella because that's what I got. And go with the mozz. I'm trying to think if last time if I even put the if I added the cheese. This is one of the first few. Um, chicken pot pies that said add cheese. Add cheese to the filling and then, yeah, sprinkle with optional cheese at the end. So there you go. If it's thawed out, this is a make-ahead freezer meal and I need to do that. That would be a wonderful game plan if I did and I used to do that. I was the queen of like make ahead freezers. Yeah. Mm. Um but I do need to have a a freezer cook day. I just don't know when I would feel like it. And we're hoping to get some answers. I go Wednesday. Finally heard back from my thyroid biopsy. It's never good whenever they say, well, the doctor wants you to come in so he can go over your results and your options. That's never good. I've been told that before and it never ended well. <laughs> okay. 
and this crust rolls out wonderfully easy. I'm using Carabas Dr. Seuss cup, don't tell her. Um, if you let it just kind of sit out and get almost room temperature, it rolls out so easy. And you just lay it on top of your pan. And ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. We've got a pie crust that fits, uh-oh. We've got a pie crust that fits our pan. Ta-da. That I almost stretched it too. I did, I stretched it too far. But it's where it was kind of shanky at the sides. So it'll be okay. All right, now I am going to get a little knife and we are just going to make little vent holes. I was going to do pretty designs and now I'm just going to see us and stabbing them. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Just stab it. All right, and we're, oh, we gotta cover it with foil. <sighs> All right, so we're gonna cover it with foil. Put it in there for 40 minutes, 50 minutes. Yeah, 50 minutes, uncover, and bake for 35. And that's when we put more cheese on the top. Yeah. Right, so I'm just going to pop it in here for 50 minutes. And we're going to let it do its thing. I am going to clean up this kitchen a little bit. Yeah. All right, and Brian is coming over tomorrow afternoon, um, sometime tomorrow afternoon, to go swimming tomorrow night. He wants to night swim. What is it about night swimming? I think it was because back in the day, back when we were kids, you were always told no, you couldn't night swim. I mean, we never could. Um, yeah, yeah, it was just... Yeah, we were always told no. So, I mean, our pools never had lights. Our parents never thought that because we always had an above ground pool. Um, even when we were down at the farm, we had an above ground pool. I was wondering when my battery was going to start doing that. Anywho, he's coming tomorrow night. I'm going to make some of those steaks, and I'm so glad I found a marinade. Yay! Because I want to marinate them tonight. So then things will be good and tender when we grill them tomorrow night. So let me get my steaks out. I'm going to charge this battery and I'll be back. And we are getting full as I'll get out between the green beans that we're getting in from the garden and our peas and corn. There's some of that corn. Here's some of our squash. Uh, this is a mixture of the black crowder. Do you see the black ones? Those are black crowders. And we just mixed them in with some of the plain crowders. Yeah, yeah. There's some of my all-purpose flour. I'm trying to find those steaks. So, I'll be back. Well, darn it, the hannies. I, we ate and I forgot to get a picture of it. It was delicious. Um, and it, it occurred to me of that is something I need to do. Of course, right now I don't have the freezer room. Um, but whenever I do feel like it or if I'm making one, go ahead and make one or two extra. Um, just throw them in those pans and put foil on them and there you go. I, I've got a, a meal made. Um, yeah, yeah. That's the way you kind of start getting that little, the freezer head meals. 
Um, it's not like you got to make 50 meals in one day. Just whenever you're doing supper, um, go ahead and make like four chicken pot pies. And that way, if you did it once a week, you've got a month's worth. You know, or um, like whenever I make up my meatloaves, I'll go ahead and make up like maybe three or four. And, you know, I put those in the Ziploc bag. Make sure it'll fit in your crock pot. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, and go ahead and get those frozen. That is something that I do need to do is make up some more meat. Those. Because those are always a hit. But, uh, yeah, that chicken pot pie could not be easier and... Carol Beth made the comment tonight. She's like, Mama, I love your chicken pot pie. Then KFC's. And then the chicken pot pie soup with the biscuit on top. Um, the soup with the biscuit on top is good. I do have to I do have to agree to that one. Uh oh. I got something. There we go. <laughs> I couldn't tell it was here, here, or where. Um so I guess it's going to do it for today. Sorry they are short and sweet, but I'm short and sweet. I'm round. <laughs> so until next time, tomorrow's Friday. Woo, the boy's coming. Um, Becca went back to work today. Yes. Um. And then she was supposed to be off tomorrow. And she's like, no, I'll work, thank you. And then she's going to pull a double Saturday and Sunday. There are no more COVID patients as of right now at their facility. Um, and said that everybody is still so scared of working with them. And she's, or, you know, if they had any they all had said no you know and becca's like i'll work with them <laughs> you know so we know hers was a false positive so anywho um but yeah i guess that's gonna do it for tonight and we will see y'all tomorrow so tighten up your bows a gesture. I got my hair up. It is what it is, y'all. It just is what it is. I did have it down today. And then I put lipstick on this morning and it occurred to me. I had to wear my mask. Um, I had a video. I had to do a video call to um, the makers. Well, not the makers, but yeah. They're the ones that get the plasma that is used to make the medicine that makes me, you know, function. Prevagen. Um, not Prevagen like you're thinking Prevagen. Gamma. Uh, intravenous gamma, gamma globulin. Yeah. Anywho. Um, uh, anywho, I had to have a a video call with them their district manager from Atlanta was in and I am the spokeswoman for um, Montgomery and the surrounding areas yeah I'm the face of please donate <laughs> um, so yeah but I put that lipstick on and I thought, well, she got this mask on and they can't see the lipstick. So I did it once the room was closed and I could take my mask off. Because what's the point in putting on lipstick if you can't see it? At least I knew it was on there. I mean, you know, hey. And I had my hair down. I was, I was looking fine. I didn't feel worth crap, but I was looking good. So, until tomorrow, y'all be good, be sweet, don't need bail money. 
Yeah. Yeah. We, we got to figure out something to do to the boy. Yeah. Bye, y'all. <laughs>